Now, nearly three months have passed since the Sewolho ferry disaster, but there are still more questions than answers about what happened into, in the lead up to that day and on the day itself. Parliamentary hearings are underway to uncover some of those answers. And on Wednesday, in fact, the head of the much criticised Korea Coast Guard was in the hot seat. Jim Young Gil reports. The Special Parliamentary Committee investigating this Hilda Ferry accident simply could not understand why not a single person was saved from the sinking Hilda Ferry. When the rescue teams arrived, why didn't they go into the vessel's steering room? Did they know that people were trapped inside? We weren't able to get into the ship because there were too many obstacles in the way. Lawmakers also questioned why the Korea Coast Guard told emergency responders to hold off from starting rescue operations when they arrived at the accident site before the Coast Guard. A rival party lawmaker grew angry when asking why the Coast Guard didn't contact passengers on the sinking ferry. If the Korea Coast Guard has sent a text message or made a phone call to the passengers telling them to abandon ship, they would have. Why didn't the Coast Guard do that? During Wednesday's hearing, the committee determined that the Coast Guard was not in proper control of the situation in the initial stages of the accident, something that led to false reports early on, including that 370 people had been saved. Opposition lawmakers also voiced opposition to President Park Geun-hye's decision to dismantle the Korea Coast Guard. And while they agree with a plan to establish a new national safety ministry, they say it should be an independent body and not under the watch of the Prime Minister's office. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.